This time last year, I received a phone call from presidential candidate Noah Manika. He had just landed in Zimbabwe and he said the first group of people he wanted to get in touch with was the young people of the country. We had an amazing dinner with him and we exchanged ideas on what a good Zimbabwe may look like. I invited my friends Kudakwashi Musasiwa, the campaign manager to Fadzai Mahere, Agency Gumbo, and Maureen from the MDC Alliance. Numaliso Musasiwa, the mathematician, they joined us. One particular trait that impressed me about this man is he has a genuine God-fearing integrity that is unmatched in this election. Dr. Manika is the most honest man in this election. He is literally the Nkosana Moyo that goes to church. I asked him why he wanted to run for the president of Zimbabwe and his response to me was because Jesus Christ had told him to do so. I asked him, assuming he wins, what was him and Jesus Christ going to do next? He told me a profound statement. He said the job of a great leader is not to come up with ideas of how to move this country forward. His greatest assignment was the democratic process of managing the ideas of the Zimbabwean people on how they think this country should move forward. This was before the MDC Alliance project. So his project was designed to be the alliance of all political parties. His argument was, most of the political parties had all the important pieces that the puzzle needed, but they lacked a good leader who would first unite them, and then second, lead them. His messiah complex was, he was sent by God to be the man to bring it all together. A day is a long time in politics. So one year later, he did not unite any of the political outfits. He is now leading a political party and is not going to win one seat anywhere in the country. But that's not the point of my closer look. Noah Manika is the kind of character and integrity that the opposition needs. Kosana Moyo is the kind of intellect that the opposition needs. Nelson Chemisa is the kind of organizing secretary that the opposition needs. The three of them make a triple threat powerful enough to contest ZANU-PF. But here's the trouble. Their egos are too big that the only thing they're now capable of is knocking uh, their chances of any meaningful result out. The point of my closer look is maybe, maybe Chamisa is not willing to accommodate these great minds. But I wonder if, could ED consider engaging them? Noah Manika is a ZANU-PF baby. So is Nkosana Moyo. There is a deep understanding of what is really wrong with ZANU-PF that these men possess. I want to tell you something. Trevor Ngube and Shingi Munyeza, who are my mentors, once set me down. And they said, AC, the problem with your brand is we need to clean it up. You've made some mistakes in the past, and the world has a tendency of judging you uh, on your past as if it's your future. So the two men have walked with me a while until I changed some of my worst traits. This is the same thing with ED. He needs people around him that will cleanse him because the world wants to accept him. His past is a mixed bag between collateral legacy issues of working under Robert Mugabe and the genuine credentials of having fought for this country all of his life. I pray we don't ever find ourselves in a situation where we waste the greatest minds of this country. What Chemisa has done, and it honestly tears me apart, is he simply failed to grow up and show maturity. ED is mature. He is a doer. He has 18 our painful, punishing days that collaborate running a government, uh, running a campaign for presidency, and running a family. My godson, Zwashu Koti, said to me this morning, we should just vote for whoever can get the roads fixed. What Zimbabweans want, at least right now, is to get Zimbabwe working again. And ED is doing that every single day. Emerson Mnangagwa is the most mature man in the race. It's impossible for him to lose this election right now. I just wish he would be able to accommodate some of the incredible minds we also have in this race. My advice to Chimisa is he needs to spend some time and get a real job. He needs to learn profit and loss, plus and minus, managing teams, managing conflict, and most crucially, managing his decorum. If you don't believe me, listen to this. <laughs> One of my big brothers, OB, is currently teaching me about the Bible. Now here's what I don't understand. Chamisa says he's a pastor, and yet he wants to ask Zimbabwean children to go onto the street 
as human shields to his ambition for president. This country went through 38 years of a great eloquent speaker, Barangano Tsinyi. He lied every day of his life, Robert Mugabe. He spent his whole career using people to serve him. Mkoma Chamisa, Utsinye, to ask people to go out into the cold and cause chaos. Instability is not good for anybody, especially the people you want to use. We have talent in this country. And if the talent won't be accommodated by Chamisa, if the talent in the opposition won't be accommodated by Chamisa, I wonder if the opposition leaders can understand that leadership requires compromise and they can pick the side of the inevitable. They can actually join ED and take a personal loss for a national gain. Not that it's a perfect solution, but it's a strategic move. Until next time, head back. Hi guys, thank you for supporting the Lumumba Files. To make sure you don't miss a show, press the subscribe button below and the notification button, that's the one with the little bell, and you will always get told when I put up a show. Thank you for watching. Head bowed.